we are going to find the derivative of this function when x is equal to 0. You know the deal. Please pause the video and try this first. Okay, the answer to this right here is 324. And if you guys got the answer correct, you can comment down below and let us know that, hey, you did right. Now, let me show you guys how I would recommend you guys to do this. You might just multiply out everything and then differentiate that, which is okay. But it's a lot of algebra work. And you may also use the product rule and then the power rule and things like that. Still okay, but here is the way I will show you. First, I will write down y for f of x, and this is equal to x plus 1 times x plus 2 squared times x plus 3 to the third power. This method is going to work regardless how many factors, how many products that we have, all right? <laughs> if you took your time to multiply this out, let me know how much time did you spend. It's not that bad. But at the moment, if I change this to 30, you have to do the following way. We are going to take the natural log on both sides. This is the logarithmic differentiation. When I take the natural log on both sides, I can write this down as ln y, and we know that the product inside of the ln becomes the sum of the lns, and also the powers right here becomes coefficients. And let's do a few steps in our head. This is going to first give us ln of x plus 1, and then this is going to give us plus another ln, and the 2 is the coefficient, so it's 2, ln of x plus 2. And then we add it with 3 ln of this, x plus 3, like that, all right? So we're doing the algebra first. This right here is just all about the natural log property. And then, of course, we are still doing the calculus. Here is the time we can differentiate. Let's go ahead and put down d dx to show that we are differentiating with respect to x. And the derivative of ln y is first 1 over y, but y is a function of x. We have to use the chain rule, and the derivative of y is y prime, which is dy dx, and that's the derivative. And then for this part, they are all in terms of x, which is just a usual derivative, right? So derivative of ln x plus 1 is just 1 over x plus 1. And the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative inside, but the derivative of x plus 1 is just 1. So we are just multiplying by 1, which doesn't really matter. But anyway, next, we add it with 2, right? We keep the constant multiple, and then you multiply by the derivative of this, which is just 1 over x plus 2, and the derivative of the inside is once again just 1. And lastly, same thing, 3, 1 over x plus 3 times the derivative of the inside, which is still 1. Okay, now, this is 1 over y. I can just multiply both sides by y so they can be cancelled. I can get the dy dx by itself this way, and we do the same thing on the right-hand side as usual. So we have dy dx, and this is equal to, we have the y, and we are going to just write down the y back, which is that. So x plus 1, x plus 2 squared, and then x plus 3 to a third power. And then for the inside, we just pretty much of this, which is 1 over x plus 1, plus 2 over x plus 2, plus 3 over x plus 3. That's pretty much it. Right? And of course, you can multiply this out, simplify this, whatever, whatever, but all in all, you just care about the value of this expression when x is equal to 0. Therefore, all we have to do is just to plug in 0 into all the x's. So we see that we first get 0 plus 1, which is 1, and this is going to give us 2 squared, and then this is going to give us 3 to the third power. And then, parentheses, 1 over 0 plus 1, which is 1 over 1, plus 2 over 0 plus 2, which is 2 over 2, and then, of course, 3 over 3, like this. And then, multiply out everything. 1 times 4 times 27 times 3. We get the final answer, 324. And this is a really nice and quick derivative question if we use the right method. Anyway, hope you like this video, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I like to make math videos for you guys. And as always, 
That's it.